It's an exciting day here on my off-grid property. After years of saving and after years of having to haul in water, we're finally having a well drilled here on the property. I got a call from the drilling company today and although I wasn't expecting them for another month or two, they had an opening and they're sending a truck up today to get started on my well. Up until this point, I've had to travel a couple miles up the road to the nearest water source to supply our cabin with water. And so having water here on the property is gonna be wonderful. And I hope you'll join me in that process. So I'm not planning on posting this video until after I get the final bill. So stay tuned to the end to find out how much this thing ended up costing me. If you've ever had a well drilled, leave it down in the comments how deep you had to go and how much it cost and maybe even the state that you're in. I think that would be helpful for me as well as helpful for other people viewing this video. One of the things that we did to help uh, set our budget for this well is we pulled the well logs for the wells in our area. And that's something that just about anybody can do. I think in most states the well logs are public record, but you can hop online and look at the depth and flow of your neighbor's wells. And that'll kind of give you an idea on uh, where you're going to end up. However, here in the mountains where I'm at, it's a little bit tough. I have one neighbor up the road that has a well that's 45 feet deep and gets 20 gallons a minute. I have another one about the same distance away that has a well that's 259 feet deep and it's a dry hole. So we really just don't know what we're going to get. We're kind of planning on the heavy side and so we'll see what happens. We did have this well doused and we're told that we'd have water between 105 and 115 feet and that uh, we also were told where the best place for the well to be drilled was. And so we're hoping that helps as well. So we'll see what happens. It was a little bit tricky getting them in here. They had to cut a couple of trees down and do some maneuvering to get the truck in the right spot. Uh, but they're getting set up right now and I'm excited to get this well going. So they got their drill rig all set up and they're starting to drill and this is the scary part. I don't know what kind of quotes you get in your area but in my area because of how rural we are it was $85 a foot and $1,500 mobilization fee just to come out here. So every time that drill drops into the ground another foot it's 85 bucks. so that's kind of scary. Hopefully we uh, hit water in a decent amount of depth. I just talked to the drillers and we're at 115 feet. We hit water. It was right where dousing said it would be. However, we got a little bit of a problem. And that problem is, is that our flow rate's only at a gallon and a half per minute. And in our area, that is still considered a dry well. It's not considered enough to support a household. So the drillers are recommending that we go deeper. They really think they can get a better flow if they go deeper. And so we're gonna have to keep going. We gotta keep going, we gotta drill deeper.
Well, we're now at 200 feet and things haven't improved much. However, I do have good news. I just talked to the drillers and uh, I guess early on in the drilling, they hit a good solid layer of rock and they're only gonna have to case the well down to that point. So the $85 a foot um, that they quoted me was cased. And so I was t telling them I was worried about the budget and how the expensive things were getting. And uh, they let me know that uh, they're only gonna have to case down to the rock and then they're gonna put a PVC liner in the well past that point. And so it'll be a little cheaper below that point. So hopefully budget wise, we're still gonna fall in the budget. This is getting really expensive really fast, but we gotta keep going. We gotta keep drilling. We did it. We got to the flow rate that we needed to. We got to seven gallons per minute, but we had to drill to 304 feet. So I'm a little nervous what that bill is gonna look like. I'm a little scared for that to come in the mail, uh, but we got to the flow rate that we needed to. The drillers are telling me it looks like good, healthy, clean water. There's no sulfur smell or anything that you can get sometimes up here. Uh, so it looks like it's good, clean water. I'm curious as to where the static water level is going to end up. So we'll get that in the well report. They're going to do some more testing on the well, and I'll update you guys with that. I got the final bill in the mail, and it came with the well log. So I wanted to give you guys a cost and breakdown of what we ended up with. I ended up with a well that's 304 feet deep with a static water level of 88 feet. So that's where the water sits in the well and a flow rate of seven gallons per minute. The total cost came to $25,375. That includes all the mobilization fees and everything. So that breaks down to a cost of $83.47 a foot. A little more expensive than I was planning on spending, but uh, I now have water on my property and I'm one step closer to being self-sufficient. So that's important. Water's life. You got to have it. So I'm glad to have it here on the property. One of the things that I wanted to bring up in this video that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about when they're in, in other well drilling videos is the mess that gets left behind. Uh, the guys that drilled my well did a great job. They worked hard. They were super professional and really made things happen for me. But there's a big mess to clean up when uh, all is said and done. Everything that came up out of that hole is left on your property. And it took me a good day to, to use a tractor to clean all that up. So keep that in mind if you're having a well drilled. The other thing is that that expense, that $25,375, does not include a pump. So right now, all I have is an expensive hole in the ground. Um, I've been doing a little research and luckily at that 88 feet, I think there's a couple solar pumps out there um, that are gonna work for me. So I'll do a video on that in the future. I plan on installing a pump as soon as possible. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, but uh, keep that in mind. There's a mess to clean up and you still need a pump to make a well happen. So. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video and found it informative, please give it a like. Give it that thumbs up. It really helps things out. If you enjoy projects like this and, and other off-grid projects and outdoor adventures, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.